Hi, my name is Andrew Hansen. I'm a supervisor with the Solid Waste Division here at the City of Loveland. These trucks are designed to allow an operator, a single operator, to service as many as 1,500 homes in a single shift. But they are also dependent upon participation on the part of each customer, placing their carts in a location we can see them and we can safely grab around the cart. It's extremely important that the drivers keep an eye out for contamination. If we exceed a relatively low threshold of contamination, uh, the entire load, hundreds of homes of otherwise good recyclables that are mixed in with that contamination uh, are deemed condemned and sent up to the landfill. The most common contaminants that we see in recycle carts uh, would be plastic bags. They have a recycle symbol on them, but unfortunately, uh, unless they are brought to a pre-sorted bin, such as we have at our recycling center, they wreak havoc in the single stream recycling system. Residual food waste, if it's not in your schedule to clean out those containers, we ask that you simply discard those rather than forcing them into the recycling stream because they will not be recycled. Styrofoam, it has a recycling symbol on it. The facilities that receive our recyclables from our trucks uh, do not process styrofoam, it is deemed contamination. In the city of Loveland, recycling isn't mandatory. It's a, a voluntary participation, but it's really important that those who opt to participate in the recycling program and use their recycling car adhere to the guidelines uh, because recycling incorrectly is worse than not recycling at all.